Okay, what I had was a question about um, my oscillatory methods and going longer than 10 seconds, which used to be, usually is my standard because I choose to, look, to work in the ATP, CP phase of under 10 seconds with my oscillatories because of the higher quality of work um, or the alactic phase, some people call it. But that high quality of work is what I typically do. Now, the question came in, hey, do you do more or, or would you do glycolytic work in glycolysis with the oscillatories. Uh, you can, the hard part is, and the only downfall is that by doing oscillatories, you, you have the first 10 seconds where you're doing alactic work, and what transpires is that you get a little bit of neural fatigue in there, so you can't actually be focused on your lactate system or glycolysis um, with oscillatories as much as you can, where I think I came up with a idea that you can play with but I would call it the oscillatory glycolysis hack. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're trying to focus specifically doing oscillatories in the 10 to 30 second range in duration if you find the needs of your athletes need to increase their repeated uh, sprintability in the lactate phase. Um, I'm coming out with a repeated sprintability test that uh, I've been working on for a while and it'll be, it'll be in that range. Now, the goal of this hack came when I tried to skip that ATP, CP phase of, of under 10 seconds. Now what I kind of figured we could do is we could use a method basically just simple ISO holds for the first 10 seconds. So what you would do is you could take your bench press off if you wanted to work upper body lactate, uh, glycolysis, oscillatory movements, you would bring the bench down, hold it for 10 seconds at the bottom which is somewhat taxing, but it's not as taxing as oscillatories. Remember in some of my previous videos, I've seen oscillatories into the 50% more um, taxing on the energy system to 30, 30 to 60% or 30 to 50% more taxing on the, the, uh, the whole body, so you fatigue faster. But instead of doing oscillatories at the beginning, you wait for 10 seconds to get into the ATP phase and, or past the ATP phase, and then when lactate or glycolysis starts, you actually start doing your oscillatories then. So you're extremely focused in doing the oscillatory work in the glycolysis phase, and you've kind of skipped all the heavy work in the ATP phase to get to the glycolysis phase, because we know this comes first. Now,